my friend, I wonder if you would let me talk to you about one of the most important things you will ever face your entire life. Right now, we're in the midst of a pandemic, a panic. You can't help but turn on the news station and see news of more hard things and terrible things happening. And all of this crazy, it can make you wonder, well, what about me? What am I facing? What does life look like for me? One of the hardest questions to answer is, what is my purpose in life? You know, the Bible tells us a few things about that. The Bible tells us, first of all, that God loves us. In John chapter 3, verse 16, the Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son. Can you believe that? That the God of the universe, the God of heaven, loved all of us so much that he sent his son Jesus. The Bible tells us that Jesus is the son of God. He came to earth. We read about that in Luke chapter 2 and the book of Matthew. We celebrate that at Christmas time with the nativity scene. We know that Jesus came to earth and he, he lived a perfect life. He never did anything wrong. In fact, he did a whole lot of amazing things. The Bible talks about miracles that he did. And then at the end of his life, he was crucified on a cross. Probably you've seen a picture or an image of that before. What you may not have known is that he died on the cross to pay for what the Bible calls sin. The Bible in Romans chapter 5, verse 8 says, But God commendeth his love toward us. See, it talks about God's love again. In that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. The Bible says that every single person who has ever lived is a sinner. The Bible says, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. When the Bible talks about sin, it talks about it means doing something that God has said not to do. I'm sure you're familiar with the Ten Commandments. You're not supposed to lie or steal or, or kill. Some other ones as well. And while at times we would say, well, well, Pastor, I haven't done all of those. My friend, if we're honest, we're not perfect people. That's what the Bible says, for all have sinned. But because of that sin, we have sinned against a holy God, the God of heaven. And because of that sin, we don't deserve to be in heaven with him. We've, as the Bible says, come short of the glory of God. We can't quite make it. The Bible also says, for the wages of sin is death. The payment for sin, the Bible says, is death. Sometimes people say, well, I can pay for my sin and go to heaven if I'm really good. And I wish it were the case, my friend, but the Bible says it's not the case. Someone else would say, well, I can pay for my sin if I get baptized. I wish that were the case. Or, or if I buy my way to heaven, but the Bible says there's only one way to heaven. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life, that's life in heaven, through Jesus Christ our Lord. You know that God has a gift for you, like he had for me? And the Bible says that gift is eternal life. You see, a gift is free. If you give me a gift, it doesn't cost me anything. Though if you give me a gift, it costs you something. God has given us a gift, and it does not cost us anything, but it cost him the price of his son, Jesus Christ. You see, if you brought me a gift today and you gave it to me, I would have to receive it. If you came and said, well, here's a gift, Pastor, and I said, well, that's a nice gift, but I never took it, it wouldn't become mine. We may know that we're all sinners. We may understand that Jesus died for us and was rose and rose again. But the Bible says we have to receive that gift 
In Acts chapter 16, it says, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. In Romans, it says, For whosoever, that's anybody, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Saved from what? Well, saved from paying for our own sin. Saved from spending a life in hell. Saved to go to heaven. Can I encourage you, my friend? If you've never trusted Jesus Christ as your Savior, would you trust Him today? Would you admit that you're a sinner? And admit that, that Jesus died for you and He paid for your sin. And trust Him and Him alone to save you. The Bible says, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. You can call upon Him today. Often we will help someone pray a simple prayer if they want to be saved. It's not magic words. The Bible says, with the heart, man believeth. And a little prayer goes something like this, Lord, I know I'm a sinner. I know I deserve to pay for my sin. But I believe that you died on the cross for me. Would you please save me? And take me to heaven when I die. I trust you and you alone. If you've never trusted Christ as your Savior, would you trust Him today? Would you ask Him to save you? The Bible says He will. And that, my friend, is the best news in the whole world. We'd love to be a help to you. If there's something we can do, if you've prayed that and, and we can be a help to you, would you contact us? We'd love to send you some material. But I hope that you won't finish watching this video and not ask Jesus Christ to be your Savior.